everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals, and I am here today because a couple of people on the Facebook group asked me, what do I do with this brown paper? <laughs> I, ha I had a post where I had this big wad of packing from a package that came, and this is it. And I was all excited about it because you just can't have enough brown paper, right? And they were like, well, what do you do with it? So I thought I would show you a little bit about what I do. I mean, one of the things, well, first of all, and this is a paper bag that I've cut, already cut a panel off of, but, you know, you can just cut a piece here for your, um, I'm using this baking tray, but whatever your workspace is, cut a piece of brown paper and whatever falls on it, use that paper. I do the same thing with this canvas fabric. I, I've got a big roll of canvas and I cut it and let it soak up all of the paint and everything and then it makes really interesting covers and just pieces and parts. So you can do the same thing with your brown paper and make your own, you know, it's cool if you're stamping, just stamp some extra stamp stuff on it and it will be amazing. So then I wanted to show you a journal where I cut, I take the paper and I just cut journal paper, journal pages out. And this particular piece had, um, as you can see, it's folded up. So it was like, I cut it probably this long. And then I took it and folded it up like this to make this pocket on it and actually Here's the other side of it, but you can see the pocket on both sides of that. And I sewed it on the sewing machine and just, just stamped. And on here, I just cut a piece for my inside lining of my cover and did stamp and just random stuff. But I just love how, especially like the vintage photo looks on it through stencils. And when you ink the edges, I've just, I'm just crazy about the look of it. And so then um, here, then this page, I had a piece of notebook paper, it looks like, and I just made a pocket out of the brown paper. And then I just stuck another pocket on the front of it out of a hem with washi tape. And there's stitching on that. So uh, th I think this is actually that, <laughs> that paper bag that I showed you the first time. I think that's this piece I cut out of here. And so what this is, is gesso. And you just put gesso down and scrape it with a credit card. And that's that technique. But you can also take gesso with a, take a wax paper and wad it up and you blot it into the gesso and do this to kind of, since it's white, if you've overdone a page that you've painted or something, if you take gesso and do that to it, it kind of quiets it down, knocks it back a little bit. So there is that. Here's one where I just cut, and that is the back. That's actually the face off of a paper bag. So this piece right here, yeah, I cut that off and stuck this card that I lettered and then I just went around it with a little bit of doodling and used it that way. Let's see if there's some more. Here's a pocket I made out of brown paper and then I just uh, took some wax linen thread and a needle and just did a blanket stitch on the sides and here's a pocket like this that I cut out of it and this is some brown paper that I had stamped and used gesso and all kinds of stuff on. And here's another page. No, that's the, that's the other half of that page I showed you. And then here's one again where I took the brown paper. And this time I made it longer over here on this edge and just folded it over and made a little pocket here. And here's some more. No, that's actually, that's actually paper. Let's see. So here's the other side of that brown paper page and then just made a pocket out of other paper and put on it. And I'll see if there's any more brown paper in here. Yes. 
So this is actually cardstock, I think, brown cardstock that I created a belly band on, stitched it on. And there's the other side of the cardstock. And there's there's another pocket. I just cut a scallop in it. And then I put a little um, metal fastener, long fastener, like a Tim, Tim Holtz fastener right there. Because it was, what happened was things weren't staying in like I wanted them to. So I just put that there and that keeps everything in its place. And then here I lined the back side of it with brown paper. So there is that use for brown paper. Okay, so I wanted to show you what I did here. I just took a piece of scrapbook paper that's just plain white on the back, and I'm just gluing brown paper to the back of it. So nothing complicated or fancy here, but um, you know, when you're getting ready to make tags or pockets, mainly tags though, because you want them to be double-sided, um, this is just a good way to get something on that other side. And you can print words out. I've got little, like a little alphabet stamp set that I like to use and stamp words out. And then you can put them on this brown paper and they'll stand out really well. You know, you couldn't put them on here because you wouldn't be able to read them. But on here, it would look really cute with some distress ink and all that good stuff. So I'm going to get ready to do that. I'm going to glue a couple more sheets, I think, of... I'm going to pick out some scrapbook paper that I really like and then glue some brown paper. So as far as what to use your brown paper for, you can do that. And even if you don't know what you're going to do with it, you're one step ahead now. You've got your brown paper glued to the back of your paper, your scrapbook paper, and you're ready to start to do some tags. And let's see. Oh, I was going to show you this Franken paper. <laughs> so you can take all your scraps and glue them onto the brown paper. And it just, I like the look of it better than just gluing it on white paper, because sometimes when you glue it on white paper, it just looks very bland and blah. But when you do it on the brown paper, it makes everything pop. So that's, and it's, you know, thin enough that, because sometimes it gets thick with these clippings, but the brown paper's thin in most cases, and so it's a nice background for it. Let's see, here's another, let me see what I have in here. This is another journal. Yeah, now that's that's actually paper out of a pad. Let's see. Oh, here's here's a page I did out of uh, brown paper. And this was kind of a a forerunner for my kit that I have on Etsy, the Thought Life Journal. I was working on it when I did this one, so a lot of the same ideas, the scriptures about you know what the Bible says about how keep your mind on the things of God and how to get over anxiety and how to get over worry. Kind of what it was going on when I did this. And there's the back side. So brown paper, but then I have the pocket out of uh, some Tim Holtz paper. And let's see what else do I have. Let's see if I have any more brown paper. That's from a pad. Yeah, here's some more where I just uh, decoupaged random pieces of paper. And then I took coffee and let it dry, really heavy coffee, you like mix coffee really strong, instant coffee, and let it dry on there and puddle up. So I use that for the page on there. Let me clip this on. And here's the back side which there's that and I just made a pocket on the top of it. And what else do I have?
This was for my granddaughter. I'm making it for her. I haven't finished it, but got pictures of her in there. This is brown paper that I've just decoupaged napkins and some uh, hems. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word for a second. Yeah, so there's pictures. Here's another one. That, yeah, that's brown paper that I've just used a distress ink on. There's one of my altered paper clips. So that's pretty much it for the brown paper. Anyway, I didn't want to do a big long video, but I just thought I'd show you what I had and just maybe it might spark some ideas for you to try some new things. So anyway, that will be it. And I'm going to put this out on YouTube and I'll put it on the group page and we'll be all set. So, all right. See you next time. Bye-bye.